Okay. Uh, differentiation. Objective. Product and quotient rules. Differentiated product and quotient rules. This is the product rule. The, the big big F is composed of smaller functions, F times G of X, then the derivative of that function is found can be described by uh, taking the derivative of the of the two smaller functions as a product, and there's our product rule. And you can see there what it simply says is the F times the derivative of G plus G times the derivative of F, and that's the product rule right there. So now they want us to find the derivative of this function here. Okay. So then we'll start out with I'm going to call the function h of x. The original function is h of x. x to the fourth minus 2x to the third minus 7 times 3x squared minus 5x. That's our function there. And they want us to find the derivative of that function. So the derivative would be something like d of dx of h of x. So we want us to find the derivative of that function. And since we can describe it as a product, it can be described as the derivative with respect to with respect to x of f times g, which is simply f times g prime plus f prime times g. Okay. So, we've got that part done with that. So, the, let's describe what f is. f, in this case here, f of x is x to the fourth minus 2x to the third minus 7. So f prime is going to be f prime of x is going to be 4x to the third minus 6x squared. What is g? g is g of x is 3x squared minus 5x. So g prime of x is going to be 6x minus 5. Okay. So our function here is going to be the derivative with respect to x of h of x. It's going to be f, which is x to the fourth minus 2x, 2x to the third minus 7 times g prime times 6x minus 5 minus f prime which is 4x to the third minus g of x squared that's our f prime times g Six x minus five. So So 
So let me put that all, try to get that all in a single line. D dx of h of x is equal to x to the fourth minus 2x to the third minus 7 times. Let's see, what's that mean there? Did I make a mistake? Yeah, that's a mistake there. I'll fix it. Oh, it was all set. Let's see. F prime times G. There's my mistake. F prime times G. So F prime times G, G is there. Six minus five. Let's see. Plus. Answer. Okay. And that's how you find the product there. I don't know if I would have gone with that one for my first example, but huh, that's how they do it. Example one. Next one is a quotient rule. Q of X is N of X over D of X. Okay. So you can see that I've already made little notes there for how to write it. So let's look at taking the derivative of this one here. H of X is equal to the original function here. All over X minus one. So the derivative of that function with respect to a, x, h of x, we can treat it like it was two functions, d dx of f over g, which is going to be g times f prime minus f times g prime all over g squared. So f, f of x is x squared minus 3x, and f prime of x is 2x minus 3. g of x is equal to x minus 1, and g prime of x is equal to 1. Okay. So our derivative with respect to x of h of x is going to be x minus 1 times 2x minus 3 minus x squared minus 3x times 1 all over quantity x minus 1 squared. So 
it's going to be 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 minus x squared plus 3x all over x minus 1 quantity squared. So the derivative with respect to x of h of x is x squared minus 2x plus 3 over x minus and that's our answer there now when you look at this one here if you look at it if you look at this problem here it looks kind of big and large but it's not it's really done in, in three parts the first part here I write out my formulas the second part here, I assign values to my variables. The third part here, I simplify. I plug in to the formula. And then I simplify for my answer. So the first thing I did, I wrote out my formulas. I wrote out my formulas here. The function, original function, then how I'm going to describe and how I'm going to describe um, the derivative of it, finding the derivative. And then I assign values to my variables here. And then I substitute back into the derivative function to find the derivative. And then I simplify it. Go back to the previous one. I did the same thing. I wrote out the formulas I would need. The second thing I did was I assigned values to my variables. The third thing I did was I plugged in to it to find the derivative. And then I simplified. Now this one here asks us to two, do two things. Find the quotient here, and then they ask us to show that those two things are equal. Basically, you'll be doing the same thing. Okay. So looking at this one from the beginning here, the original function I'm going to call h of x. Change that color. I'm going to call h of x. thing I don't want to do is I want to take the derivative so I have to take the derivative of h over x to be uh, something a quotient here or g which is going to be g times f prime minus f over g prime all over g squared okay the next thing I'm defining my parts for the formula I'm gonna need. So in this case here, my f f of x is one minus three x 
uh, f prime of x is going to be a negative 3. A g of x is x squared plus 2. A g prime of x is going to be equal to 2x. So now when we approach that derivative of, of a quotient here, of f over g, Uh, so if I want to find that derivative of that function, h of x, I can do this now say x squared plus 2 times the 3 So the final answer here, derivative with respect to x of, of h of x is going to be 3x squared minus 2x minus 6 over x to the fourth plus 4x squared plus 4. And that's our answer. That one there. Here again I did the same things I did before. In the very beginning. The first thing I did was I wrote out the formulas that I need would need. The second thing I did was I assigned values to my variables. The third thing I did was I plugged into the formula. Then I simplified it. That's how I got that answer. Take a look at another one before we go. In this particular problem here, uh, the temperature of a person due to an illness is given by the following function, where T is the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit, and T represents hours. Find the rate of change with respect to time, so they want to find that derivative of the function. Then evaluate, uh, find the temperature. When T is at 1, find the rate of temperature, rate of change, at T equal to 1. So, 
we find the derivative of the function. And then we evaluate the function when t is equal to 1. And then we find the rate of change when t is equal to 1. So we have to find that derivative. In this case here, we have a product. So we end up using the product rule. We have a product. Uh, that's a plus sign. Okay. It's a sum rule, so we do do it in pieces. The product. It's a sum summation. Okay. Now, you notice the second term there is a constant here. This is a constant. So the derivative of a constant is zero. So our derivative of the function is going to be found there. So we'll take the derivative of this piece here. So we take the derivative of this piece here. When we get to that point, it's a quotient. So we end up using our quotient rule. Mm -hmm. And then they assign pieces. So there's your nt, there's our dt. And they find the derivatives and they plug it in. Notice here, I went ahead and found the derivatives in the beginning for the pieces for 8t and t equal 5. Okay. And then they found the derivative of the pieces here. Let me plug it in. So then they plug in everything here. Simplify the numerator, and there's your the function of the derivative. And there's our derivative function here. So they want us to evaluate the original function when t is equal to 1. So we plug in, and there's what t is equal to 1. So now they want us to find out what the derivative, what the the derivative is going to be evaluate the derivative for when t is equal to 1. So we use this function again, this function, and evaluate if equal to 1. And that gives us this answer here. That's our final answer there.